Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jordan from the JP Homes team at Remax. I am back with this month's market update. Uh, so it's the middle of, uh, of May. Uh, we just passed Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to uh, all of the moms that are watching. I hope you had a great day with your families. And uh, Treb dropped their market watch last week with their numbers on what happened in April. So I thought I'd break it down as I always do and give you my opinion and my take on what happened. Uh, so with regards to the numbers and what Treb had reported, um, total sale transactions were da was down about 67% over last year, 2019. So a decrease of almost 70% in sales, which is totally expected and no surprise uh, to me and should be no surprise really as, uh, you know, as we've been going through this COVID-19 period, once we got into it, the amount of listings and the amount of transactions really kind of took a dive down pretty quickly. Uh, because of all the social distancing and everything. Now, uh, with regards to new listings, new listings are down, like I mentioned, about 64%. Uh, so total transactions down, new listings are down. What's interesting to note if we're looking at last year versus this year in terms of prices from this time of the year to last year, uh, prices are about even overall. Um, as an average in the GTA, prices are up 0.1%. I'd say that they're, they're pretty much steady and average overall, which I think is a really important thing to keep in mind and really interesting as we haven't seen those major price decreases uh, that some people were, are expecting and keep talking about. Now, one thing to, to keep in mind, and I always mention it, is real estate is a very area specific. The numbers I'm talking about here are general averages for the GTA. Uh, so keep in mind that in your specific neighborhood, things might be reacting a little bit different. Uh, one of the questions that I've been getting a lot lately is, uh, are we seeing multiple offers? I'm hearing about multiple offers back again and things like that. And if you remember in January, February, and March, or the beginning of March, we were off to a really hot start and multiple offers were back like they were back in 2016 and 17. Um, I've started to hear rumblings of multiple offer scenarios happening again. And what I think that's attributed to is the strong demand from buyers that are still out in the market. Um, in the first two and a half or three months of the year, we had a strong buyer pool, um, which was leading to these multiple offer scenarios. That buyer pool, although yes, has probably decreased a little bit, is still there and is still pretty forceful. And with the lack of inventory, those buyers are just waiting for something good to come. If something good comes to the market that's priced right, they're prepared and they're ready to jump. The other thing that I think is so interesting, um, I did a little analysis looking back week by week over the last six or seven weeks. And it seems like uh, at the beginning of April, the week of about the 5th to the 11th of April, we saw um, a low in terms of sales in the GTA. So we were increasing as, uh, as the beginning of the year was coming out. Um, the 5th of April, which is about two, two and a half weeks into our quarantine, we hit a low. And since then, week by week, sales have actually been inching back up. We've been seeing higher numbers week over week um, of sales, which is really interesting. And it also corresponds with some interesting numbers that I got from my brokerage in the last couple of weeks, where calls into the brokerage, appointments booked, and showings have all been rising steadily over the last few weeks as well. And those are really, in my opinion, telltale signs of what's going to happen to prices, because those appointments that are booked are leading indicators to what's going to happen with terms of sales or sorry with sales. So that's something really interesting to point out. So to break it all down and what does it mean? If you're a seller right now, you have zero or minimal competition on the market. So if you're saying, well, I was going to wait till the spring or after March break and now I put my plans on hold. Now might be the time to, to give it a try and see what happens because there is such little inventory. There are buyers out there and there is, they're waiting for good stuff to come to the market. If you're a buyer, I know you're waiting. We've got to be ready and you've got to be prepared to jump. When something good comes, jump. There is still opportunity to buy right now without competition. Uh, so make sure that you're ready and prepared. Uh, have all of your financing ready. As we always talk about, be pre-approved. Uh, you know, be ready with an inspection if you want to do that. There are ways that we're, you know, we're working through uh, COVID precautions to make sure that we're doing uh, as minimal contact and touching with showings and things like that as possible. So keep ready, keep in mind with all of that. And when you see something you like, jump. So if you have any questions on, on real estate in terms of buying, um, we've been doing a lot of, of Zoom buyer seminars right now or buyer uh, meetings as well as, um, as seller meetings right now, all by Zoom or FaceTime uh, to still be able to talk to everybody, but doing it with our social distance. So if you're interested in that and setting up a time for an appointment with that virtually, uh, shoot me a message, let me know. I'm happy to talk. 
uh, about anything that you might need and uh, about what's going on in your specific neighborhood or for where you're specifically looking to buy. That's my market snapshot. If you have any questions, I'm always available to talk real estate. Get in touch with me. Have a great month and we'll talk next month. Yeah.